Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Gavin2102, aka Gavin Randy here, and I'm back with another one of my WWE reviews. Uh, now, this is one of your uh, best places to come and find your rumors, your headlines, your spoilers, your results. But as of right now, I'm going to be talking to you about the match, the triple threat match at the Royal Rumble coming up this week. Uh, next week, uh, the 25th of January, of Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar against John Cena. Now, it has now been rumored that Seth Rollins is now the favorite to win this Royal Rumble match. But when Triple H added Seth Rollins into the WWE Championship match at the Royal Rumble, most WWE fans didn't really know what to make of it. Now it looks like Rollins will be waking out uh, of the Royal Rumble and on January 25th as the new WWE Champion. There's plenty of scenarios that have been thrown around, uh, but there are two common ones uh, are Paul... And one of them is uh, Paul Heyman turning on Brock Lesnar and helping Rollins win the WWE title. And John Cena pinning Lesnar to win the title is also another scenario. Uh, Lesnar destroys Cena after the match and Ron cash, Ron, Seth Rollins cashes in the money in the bank and pins Cena to become the new WWE uh, World Heavyweight Champion. But it has been heavily rumored that Brock Lesnar is leaving WWE this coming spring to go back to the UFC. Which is kind of bullshitting, but... um. Uh, ever since Lesnar returned in 2012, uh, WWE's wanted him to have a babyface, uh, run, so on Lesnar's way out, WWE could have Paul Heyman turn his back on Lesnar, making Lesnar a babyface, uh, however, this problem there maybe likely won't, uh, be any more for Lesnar to work with. Seth Rollins will be likely to be the WWE champion heading into WrestleMania 31. So the most likely scenario ends with WWE getting the title off of Lesnar, is that Seth Rollins will cash in the Money in the Bank contract after the triple threat match at the Royal Rumble. Uh, but it has also been reported that WWE's February pay-per-view, uh, new pay-per-view, Fastlane, uh, and just so you guys know, there is no more Elimination Chamber. Uh, and the reason for that being is that WWE has to hang that big structure above the ring in order to have it. And more and more arenas around the globe have been getting these nice scoreboards to hang above the arena, which is making it uh, not possible for WWE to be able to hang the Elimination Chamber anymore. Uh, so that is the reason why there are no more uh, reports. But th the main event will be John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Oh, John Cena and Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins in the Big Show at WWE Fastlane, with Rollins being WWE Champion and Reigns being the number one contender. So, as far as right now, WrestleMania 31 main event plan is to have Seth Rollins defend the WWE Championship against Roman Reigns, which, in my opinion, I really don't like. Uh, in my scenario, I feel this is what should happen. Go into the Royal Rumble. You have John Cena win uh, uh, the triple threat match. Have Rollins cash in unsuccessfully against John Cena. Have John Cena walk into fast lane. Have John Cena lose the title at... Have John Cena uh, win the title at Vaseline. Uh, and we have him walk into WrestleMania 31 as champion to go one-on-one -on -one with Daniel Bryan. I really don't think Roman Reigns deserves that quickly to be uh, in the main event of WrestleMania. I really don't think that he's ready for it, but that's just my opinion. But uh, there are a lot of WWE fans that want to see WrestleMania 31 be the main event of Seth Rollins versus Daniel Bryan. Another good main event would be Brock Lesnar versus Daniel Bryan, or uh, even I really want to see John Cena versus Daniel Bryan again. But, you know, however, it's likely that Daniel Bryan will be taking on either Brock Lesnar or the returning Sheamus, who will be returning as a heel at the Royal Rumble. John Cena will likely be taking on Rusev at WrestleMania 31. Uh, <clears throat> at, and at this point, WWE feels that Rusev is not quite ready to be WWE Champion, so John Cena won't have the title going into that match, so, I can understand that, but I really don't feel that Rusev is even close enough to be facing John Cena yet, but that's just my opinion, that's just what I think, oh, but, uh, WWE wants to have Seth Rollins cash in the Money in the Bank contract before WrestleMania 31, which, in my opinion, I don't think is a very good idea, but, uh, so if he doesn't do it at the Royal Rumble, he'll be cashing it at some point in the next two months, which will be from January, February, March, that'll be either before WrestleMania or after WrestleMania. I think they should make it historical, like Dolph Ziggler's, uh, which is best cash-in. 
that has probably ever been seen in history the night after WrestleMania, him cashing it successfully against the fired Alberto Del Rio to become the World Heavyweight Champion. But that's my view. I, my view is uh, John Cena going into the Royal Rumble, walking out the champion, going into WWE Fastlane champion, retaining his championship there, walking into WrestleMania 31 the champion, walking out of WrestleMania 31 still the champion. Now, you guys may say, oh, John Cena has been... John Cena has been the prototype. He has been the man. He's been the face of the WWE for some quite time. But you know something? A lot of the superstars that come along think, oh my gosh, they can be the new John Cena. They can be the new, uh, they can be the new Sheamus. They can be the new Big Show. They can be the new, hell, they could be the new Slater Gator. When some of them aren't even that high on the list. But, you know, that's just my opinion. That's how I feel about it. I would like you... So leave your comment in the corner down there. And uh, you see there's a little button up there and it's called subscribe. I would like you to hit that button. And there's also a, bo a button at the bottom that says like. If you like this video, please like. If you didn't like this video, still like. So I'll see you guys next time.